Hey everyone, today's video is going to be a great one because we're going to be doing fire alarm testing at my high school. This is a quite new building built in 2015 with a brand new, pretty large addition just done to it, which was completed in 2020. This is a three floor building with a very large atrium, which makes for some interesting fire alarm system components in it, such as fire alarm exhaust and pressurization fans. This building is nearly 200,000 square feet with three gyms. Also have two elevators in this building, which definitely adds to the fire alarm components that have to be tested. That atrium is a quite interesting setup too, as we have those fire exhaust and pressurization fans, as well as we have smoke detectors that are placed on the atrium ceiling, which is 62 feet in the air, which is quite high, meaning that you have to get a scissor lift or some type of boom lift to test them. Here's a look at this atrium in this building. It may not look large on camera, but it is quite a high ceiling in this building. Right here we have three floors that all extend into this atrium and a big open concept stairwell, which is why we require those pressurization fans and all that. I have a whole video explaining that system and why it's there, how it works, and how it's implemented in this building. There's that main stairwell as you can see, which is going from the first to second and third floor bridge. And there's a look at those pressurization, or sorry, those are the exhaust fans, but the pressurization fans are down at the other end of the building. There's another one up there. Here's a map of the floor here you, of the floor plan. Here you can see the first, second, and third floor all in the same shot. Here's a look at the first floor. There you can see that big atrium and the addition sticking out the one end. There's our second floor. If you want to pause and take a look at any of these. And then here is our third floor. Next we'll look at the enunciator where you can see all of the zones and you can see those toggles for the exhaust and pressurization fans. Let's get started by testing those pressurization and exhaust fans. Let me know when you get your lights and I'll look at the door. There the doors go. They, they gotta wait for the doors to open. They'll come on. There they go. I'm going to go look at that pressurization in the stairs.
right here is another pressurization fan. You out here? So this is where it's pulling it in from, right? This is where it's pulling the air in? Yeah. All right. We can turn the bells off now, probably, eh? Probably, yeah. Uh... Just by signal silence. Don't reset either. Don't... So front doors opened up to bring fresh air in from the outside. You want a signal silence? Yeah. Might want us to. Oh, is that it? No. Nope. There we go. So fans are still running. See, both our fans here on the on position. Beautiful. This back door also opens up here to bring outside air in. That's our pressurization fan up there. I'm gonna shut off these fans now by resetting the system. I think they'll shut them off. Time delay, okay, we'll just let it you wait. Let it, I think to, right. to, to, to uh, cool down. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. We'll give it a few minutes then wait for Yeah, it. yeah, I would. Time delay, yeah. 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 I can hear those louvers closing back again. That's, that's, exactly. that's screeching, probably. That's Now that we got those fans tested, we're going to put this, put our, all our bypasses on the system, like bypass the fans that we just showed, bypass doors closing and opening, and bypass the bells since we already have done our walk around. We've already done a walk around a few times this year from doing fire drills, so we don't need to do that, and we just kind of heard all the audibles again with the fans. Remember how to do the bypasses? Uh, I want to add here our panel in this building is a Notifier NFS2640. It does not have the KDM R2 display in it. That's why it looks like a 3030 is because it has the NCA display. Our smokes are FSP851s and FSP951s in the new edition. 
all of our pull stations except for the gym pull stations are NBG12 LXs and our horn strobes are system sensor advanced series and the L series. Well, we don't have to do portable tie-in, do we? No. Or I guess we don't. Oh, I guess not. We don't really care. But that, I think that does the other thing out there. Main menu. Program alter status. SP multiple. Yeah, it would be program. Or just until it stops, I guess. That's when you, that's, which one were you hitting? It's hitting this one here, so... Point select, does it? Yeah, I think so. So you want to be on a... Logic zone. Yeah, that's zone, so zone 99, yeah. 98, 92, 96, and 90. So we got to go here. N01. Because we want those disabled. So we just do this like six more times for disabling all the things so we've got to disable. disable. Here now. So eight. Eight, except. Yep. Disable. Yes. Yeah, really make sure you know what you're doing. Right? 796. Back again. You want to go back to your main menu, right? main menu so you'll have a bunch of troubles for disabled we're starting in this nlc area because they want to um wax the floors this will be your pulse station at the end where the keypad is Can you just acknowledge, or are you having to, like, silence it? Well, I don't know, I need to acknowledge, because it's still in an alarm. Right. Sounds about right. I guess if there's nothing going off, it, acknowledging will just turn off the beeper thing. This is the other end of the NLC going out towards the track and the field. Okay, I'll do, your next two will be in your conference room. Sometimes. There's so many devices to pull, I guess. Oh, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Well, it can only show so many on the screen. I think it just kind of scrolls through. Okay, I pulled this one quite a while ago, and it is still just doing nothing. Yeah, this one, this one's not even going right on my end. I mean, I'm sure it will go, but it, you shouldn't need to. No, you know what, Jamie? It's got nothing to do with you. I pulled the handle down, but it didn't flip the switch inside, so I think something's messed up with this pull station. I'll try it again. Yeah, that time it worked. Yeah, that, so 
Yeah, it, it, it's nothing on your end. That was weird. Like, you know how there's a little switch inside? Yeah. I pulled it and it didn't put it down. Okay, so where are we main entry? Or are we I don't know what that is. I'm gonna hold it. Lobby entry. Um, there's another one right on the other side of those doors. Okay, it's coming at you. Not sure if I'll be showing the ones in this gym. I can show that gym over there, but they're kind of working on the floor in there. I need a special hex key for those poles. Oh, too many stairs in this damn school. It's that fire fit we saw earlier. These are what we need. Did you get it? Did you get this one? Third one coming at you. Yeah, you got five in total. There'll be one more at the back door going out to the field. Okay, that should be all five in the big gym. I'm going into the small gym now. Are you ready for, I think, three in the small gym? This is the small gym. You can see, you can see the big, see the big gym through there. Weight room connects the two in the middle over top. Now the lights just finally came on. The occupancy sensor just caught me, I guess. Could we make that a little more crooked, I wonder? That's a little better. These are nice pull stations. Actually, I should catch the model on them. N dash MPS dash SA. Just dropping off our little pull station key. Um, you do gotta make sure you're closing those properly and getting them a good slam. I'm kind of worried I haven't been, even though I think I have. We got one down there at that back door. Come back to the second floor later. The reason I say that is that lunchtime this year, one day at lunchtime, the family fell open, locked open. No one pulled it or anything. We're full to learn at lunch. Okay, back door.
There's nothing in the generator room, is there? to generator too. Yeah, I know it's stupid. I remember it did that last year. That is not the drama room. That's coming in the side of the theater closer to the generator room side. Yeah. I should have turned the lights in on in here if I was smart. The ones behind the curtains closest to the office end of the school. This will be the one still behind the curtains, but going into the change room area. I'm going to head back into our atrium and at the end of the atrium going out on the side there are two pull stations One. This is for the suppression system. Hold on your list, but that area for like the disabled and special needs students, I think there's a back door in that one. I just came in this area with the newish looking floors from the outside. I just used the I just used the key to come in from the outside so I didn't have to walk on the floors. And you know what? There isn't even a pull station in here. I'm gonna go into the stairwell then instead. Make my way down into the addition inside the data room. This is the one. smoke in here too.
this is going to be a smoke detector in the elevator machine room. Finally. This will be the pulse station at the end of MPS 950B. Oh, you stupid thing. Anything in those change rooms? We're now, we're now starting the second floor devices. So everything. This is our weight room in between the. Do it. Mike, you can pull it too. I don't care. Ready? Yeah. You already set it in the alarm. Nope. You'll hear it go off. And we're just going now. So this is your first test. And all our fire drills. And all our fire drills, we test the strobes every time we, we walk around the pole station. Okay. I'm glad, thanks for telling me in the gym though, because I don't get any light in there and I can't hear something like that. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we there's We actually anything. know the alarm goes off because the light comes on our device. So you probably don't really have to tell us. Yeah, pole station. Okay, that's good in here. Yeah, that's good. Where did I put my stuff? It's on the railing there. <laughs> This comes up as bridge pull station. Outside 2133. I think it'll come up as walkway. Second floor walkway probably. Okay, so we got a smoke coming up here. Probably no sense of showing this one since we did it earlier. Really I'm not sure how walkway. it comes out.
You can check off those bathroom strobes too, they're good. Smoke detector. Yeah. Properly on the list. Okay, here's one that might not be properly on the This was the one that we didn't really know about existed and I just happened to look. And I was like, oh, there's a smoke here. I think it is there because it's open to the library below. There's our bridge that we were on. We haven't done the third floor bridge yet. Uh, I think this is like a workspace. I think they like a workspace. Might be project space again or something. Could be project space. I think, I think this one would probably trigger our big fans too. Okay. I don't know which ones. It'd be nicer for us to have a list of which ones trigger them and which ones don't, you know? Well, probably most of the smoke is probably this open area. Or maybe all smoke is triggered. Yeah, it could be. Probably is all of them, honestly. Wouldn't be surprised. See, look, look at this here. It looks like we should have one. It looks like there should be. There's an octagon for one. Kind of weird. We did that one. Yep. Okay. So elevator. Which did the one for the elevator I think is labeled or outside the elevator. Not really. <laughs> Maybe for Wayne there's time. Oh, um Let's just grab them now while we're here. Is there one in here? I think there is, yeah. Right. We're at the little room here. I'm um, just gonna have a look. Yeah, I see a module. Oh, it's too hot for climbing. Can you see the lights? Yeah. I can't, what are they doing? Nothing. Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay, heading up, to, up third floor. We're going to third floor. It is smoking in the stairwell. Yeah, so we're going to third floor now. We're going to be in the stairwell. 
Smokey on an isolator base, I see. There is one or isn't? Is there or isn't there? Guys, there is. Are there any? No. Elevator third floor. I'm not gonna show all these smoke detectors. There's a lot of them. This is the seam of where the old section became new addition. So this fire sh shutter should have dropped, but I guess they put it back up. So we got one on this side and one on that side. Then we got one on this side too. Overlooking second floor. So that if smoke gets in either of these, the fire shutter will drop to stop any fire on the second floor from spreading upstairs. Okay, we got both those on either side of the fire shutter heading down the hallway here. Hey, Jamie, we should have one on this side of the rooftop, eh? What the hell? How was that? Can't come out of the room and scare me like that. <laughs> you know what would be funny? If a custodian went by instead and it wasn't We're going to do one of the rooftop ones on the third floor. Not sure what it will come up as. The outdoor ones up here. This is where we have our. They call these curtain sprinklers because they're supposed to make a curtain of water on the glass to keep the glass cool from breaking if fire came up to it. Give me my scissor lift! Um, this is a fire door is wet. Fire door is so much for self closing and self latching. That's carpenter's that's carpenter's job. Here comes a full station. No, those should stick open now. These should probably stick open. You should have said the same thing because it really wants to slide together. Hey, uh, Jamie. What? That's that ain't gonna happen with this pool. What? Smoke up there, up there. Till we do the, till we get the big pull and get the lips. Do a high we get all the way. So as I said at the start of the video, we have like six or seven. 60 feet up there. It do be pretty high. Just missed that one on camera. What an idiot. There, do it again. Just to make you guys get your video. Even though it's already activated. Just got that guy. It is so hot in here. Need the stairwells. Oh! Oh, 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 oh,
Oh, oh. Don't you jump out and scare me again. There's no ducks in these, in these. I don't know why this one doesn't have a fire curtain, but the other one does. Yeah, I don't know. We got to do that field house out there later too. What do you mean? No. Smoke in there, but it's so freaking hot. This one will be third floor walkway. It'll come up as on the bridge sort of thing. Atrium bridge, that's what we came across earlier, was that bridge over there. More high up smokes up there. Thought there was one there. Oh, there it is. It's an uneasy feeling leaning over this glass railing. Ooh. Do we have anything in that elevator room or catwalk, nothing? Probably just a bunch of modern modules. Smoky. Oh, elevator smoke? We have an elevator machine room smoke detector. Open Consistency that. to engineering. Why are we putting 60 duct detectors at fucking new school? I don't know. It's full of more than anyone, which doesn't make sense. Machine room smoke. <laughs> are outside of the elevator. Here comes the one outside the elevator. And then we'll have two more rooftop ones. And we, I guess we can come back in that other one, right? I forgot, I thought there was one here. See, this makes no sense. I don't think any of this is legal. None of this is legal at all. You got deadbolt, a door that can have this big thing down. You still got an exit sign like they want you to go out there. It's still the number one route on the evacuation map. That one's the second way, which is wow, bull crap. The number one route. Yeah, it is. Look, look, no, no. Look, read, read the legend. It's totally illegal. Should have panic hardware on it, not. There's a strobe on the roof that can get marked up too. I'm going to take a look at the whole Just leaving doors unlocked at night. Makes sense. Holy bird poop. Pressurization fan, not exhaust. Pressurized. Oh, I think I can get it. That module there must be for our pressurization fan to come on. I thought we did before. 
What about them? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, that could get someone killed. Yeah. The school needs to stop putting their own numbers on the stairwells. Go with the engineer plan. Their names, can't make up their own numbers. We, uh, that one we need a real screwdriver and smoke. I think all those different things are off. We got almost every zone here, other than the field house and sprinkler stuff. This is going to be the heat detector in the elevator pit at the bottom. So we've got two elevators to do, and each elevator's got a heat at the pit and a smoke at the top. So that was the heat at the pit. This just so happens, we already had it scheduled for the elevator techs to come out to do our work together and it just so happened to be that he was here on the same day doing our testing he was there doing his i guess preventative maintenance whatever cleaning it up stuff so we're gonna wait for him to be ready and in the meantime we're doing a duct smoke back here somewhere there it is i took the cover off all right this is your duct coming at you This might be tricky if it's still running, is it? What's that one, Reed? Oh, yeah. This yeah. will be the smoke detector at the top of yeah. elevator number one. <laughs> Not sure which side or magnet's on on this guy. started doing the flat fast blink so I think we're on the right side come on there we go Okay, that is the first elevator done. We still have a second one to do, but the elevator guys got stuff to do. So in the meantime, in the meantime, we're gonna do this E house and the field house. Why did you buy so many? What do I need here? Just the. This little room was for our portables, but the portables have been removed, and this E house is still here for your sprinkler and power fire alarm we got a whole nother panel out here for this portables yeah. the only one I can film up here is anyone else in the bathrooms mm. I couldn't show the other bathroom because there's user group kids using them but this newer addition to the field house they don't seem to be using so I can show this side
think there's anything in the fit in this one. No? Okay. Everything's down there at that one. Cool. Thank you. No problem. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, have a good day. You too. That second elevator there, the machineless elevator where the machine room is down in the pit and it's uh, in the closet, that one does not have, that one doesn't have a heat detector in the pit. It was only a smoke at the top, which I got, but I couldn't get it on camera since I was in there with the elevator guy. I should add that to my video. Real life stereo four, evacuation plan stereo four, on the fire still stereo four, but then the school went ahead and put their own number three on it, which could confuse, confuse the firefighters. Which the normal entrances like that don't really matter. The stairwell, absolutely. This one, stereo five, was labeled stairwell 10. This one is labeled nine. I don't know. Frank, you want me to open it or you got it? Mm -hmm. So it's labeled nine incorrectly. And in real life, it's stairwell 10. Mm -hmm. That could be anything though, like you said, not just fire, like. Well, it can only see the computer going in stairwell nine. Yeah, exactly. Call cops, shooter in one, and the cops go up to the wrong. Cops come to the wrong stairwell. Until he's uh, in position. Oh. Pretty crazy. <laughs> Do we want to wait? Bell's ringing and uh, you'll just stack them anyways, right? Yeah. Here we come. It's not where the light is, is it? It's on the other side. Yeah, I remember, I think it's the side. One of the lights, but I don't know what side it is. Yeah. Yeah. Sweep it around there. Give it a sweep. Wait, uh, see if we get the... Yep. Nice. It works. So, there is no reference point that you could pick up on, is it? Not really. And how would you know? I mean, we could assume they're all oriented the same way, but that's that would be assuming too much. Wouldn't it? I guess you just gotta try either side. You know what to do with it.
Yeah. Mikey was afraid to use it. Was he? <laughs> Too high up for him? You think it's All right, that was an hour long journey. Is that the loud clunks? That's what the loud clunks. <laughs> the family clunk. Show the people how high this is. Not that high. There's a spot for a sprinkler pipe. Yeah. That must be dead center of the thing. <laughs> Everyone wants to run their stuff. Yeah. They're down the middle, right in the highest point of Wilson's. Yeah. Actually, I think they're all that way. The windows look shorter on that side. Right. And got her. Got her nailed. Oh, the best one yet. Was rock and roll, hoochie coop. Remind me again why I'm along for the ride. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing all the work. I'm on here watching you. Here for the view. That's right. Oh, that was a nice view. Let's go down a couple of feet and see what the view looks like. What do you say, the middle of that next window? We can drive like that, can't we? Sure. Nice to custodian left their car right there. All right, we got got the dash cam. Who left their cart right in our way? Something else is stuck up there. That last year? Which way? Your way? Yeah. Uh, a bit forwards, I'd say. More? Forward, you think? To the left. To the left, to the left, right hand. Oh, it's pretty good. What is that? Part of the old uh, test kit up there? Stuck yeah, up there? that's what I'm wondering. Is that last year's magnet? <laughs> Someone else get their things? A little black tube up there stuck in. Did we? Yeah. That's hard on the batteries if we don't go down each time, I guess, right? Probably, yeah. <laughs> I think so I thought you had to lift it higher last Well, we didn't get our going all the way up clunks. We just got our. <laughs> we didn't start from our the bottom. Aw, well, oh, they orientated this one differently. There, I think we got it. Now all you gotta do is use that little screwdriver to hook into the side of the uh, that thing and pull your magnet back. Oh, I see, right? You're going to have to drop it down in order to get it out. You're going to either side of that. I think we're down about two, maybe three feet. It's almost like the height of this deck is the bottom part of that you know, platform. A kick, kick her down the notch, notch her down a kick. Right. So we got one up there. Such a delay, hey? Those ones keep going for. Oh, that's the other, the other, the addition. Bo yeah, booster panel. 
Yeah, I guess it takes a while for it to go around. Let the old guy get. Snap. Yeah, I don't know how high you want to be. I think that's about where we were at before. You're killing the battery, Jamie. <laughs> You're killing my battery.
That's pretty scary what you got going on there. Well, we did last year, but I think we had... <laughs> we did it somehow less scary. I know. It wasn't that scary. I, know, I, know. I don't think we needed the one. Don't think so? No. I think you'd reach it without that. <laughs> What's our plan? Because you got that one over there too, right? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I can drive the lift over there. I got a lot of control there. That was pretty good. But if I drive, if I take this down and drive the lift over, I can bring it back up for you to grab on the third floor. If that looks easy, I don't know. Well, I managed to reach the two of them last night. Pipe. Where's the gray pipe? Gray pipe's on here. You want me to take that one? Yeah. So you gotta put that back. Can I go up or you? Get a different go up it is. I think it'd be on the, to the front of the school side.
Yeah. We need the lift. We need to get upstairs. There is no upstairs. No, that's just a... No. Huh, I would have thought they were the same height. Apparently it's a little higher. All right. I'll go get Mr. Scissor lift. I don't know who's got the Christmas music going. Wrong time of year. You delete that video. No, that's, we blame that on the engineer for putting smoke detectors a million feet in the air. Maybe I'll walk in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think I should be videoing this rescue mission. <laughs> Probably didn't notice it yet. Give it a good smack. Before I do anything, get it down to a point that it ain't gonna stick on something. Rescue is complete. Got it all the way from up there. That was all it took, eh? A little piece of fish tape. Smells like something's getting a little hot down here. Smells like hot motor. Hmm. There we got these two high up ones. Got all those high up ones in the atrium. 
You got the one high up one on the other side. Looking all good. So I think that's this whole school done. So now we just take, we have to take off all the disables, re-enable everything, which is uh, pretty simple. Re-enabling everything is pretty easy. We just go into program, alter status, factory, password. Accept. Alter status menu. Okay guys, so that's gonna be about it for this video. I know this video ended up being extremely long. So far, this is my longest YouTube video. Funny enough, this school was also my longest YouTube video at that point so far. Last year, this was the longest video doing the same school. It's a massive building. It's a, it's a nice building. I definitely uh, like this school. I'm uh, happy I can go to a school that looks the way this one does. It certainly, visually, the building is a nice building. I, don't know about the school so much as uh, as a school, but it's a nice looking building. We can say that. So uh, yeah, this probably just surpassed my longest video. I'm thinking, which was Fire testing the middle school. So I'm sorry, guys, for those of you that don't like longer videos that this one ended up so long. Um, I try and keep them shortish, but I also kind of get carried away with showing everything. So it's, I feel like it's better to make them long, and people can skip through what they don't want to see. So uh, yeah. So that's pretty well it for this building, other than the sprinklers, but we don't do the sprinklers. The plumbers go around with the sprinkler fitter and the, the sprinkler technician, and they do that separately from us. Also, on those fire exhaust fans, smoke relief fans, pressurization fans, all that, I do have a video out on explaining them. It's pretty much the same test footage as you saw today, but I, it goes more in depth than how they're implemented in this building. And I would recommend that video because I do I do like the way I explain that. I think it uh, makes them a little bit more clear in how they work because it took me a little bit to understand even how they're how they actually work in this building. What's pushing air in? What's taking it out? Air out? What's taking it from the outside? All that sort of stuff. So if you're interested, check out that video. So that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, make sure to leave those down in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.